We're, as one of the basics that we're doing on this on this grilling DVD is hamburgers, and we're going to get into, you know, right now we have just about three pounds of hamburger meat, and we're going to do something very basic, uh, something with a little nice twist to it. I mean, we're going to start off about half of a sweet onion, and we go ahead and, and get that in there, and I'm going to put uh, the garlic lovers dry rub seasoning. You can put uh, that, that beef seasoning that we, uh, we made up in a different segment. I put a nice amount of the garlic lovers in there. And now we're going to take the homebarbecue.com barbecue sauce. It's a nice twist on a hamburger. A little bit more in there. And I'll just mix this up. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more seasoning to this. Okay, we're all set. We're ready to make some hamburgers. I'll ball them up and you flatten FK. I can do that. There we go. With my heel in my hand? <laughs> sure. <laughs> very, very simple. Hamburgers, like I said, uh, I mean, and as far as seasoning you can go as basic as salt and pepper. Um, if you don't have some of this the seasoning around, or what's to make the uh, the beef seasoning we went over earlier? Would the uh, barbecue sauce sort of substitute as a binding agent rather than a you can put a raw egg in, Kevin? I don't know that it would substitute as a binding agent. I mean, it would certainly help. Adding a little bit of liquid certainly helps. Um, I mean, what it, what it does substitute for is if, if you're used to adding any liquids such as a Worcestershire sauce. Okay, our hamburgers are, are, uh, are ready to go on the grill. Okay, we have our hamburgers out. We're getting ready to put them on the grill. And just to go over real quick what we did with them, uh, we took the hamburger, we mixed in some, uh, some chopped onion. We also mixed in the uh, garlic lover seasoning, plus we used the home barbecue sauce uh, in there as well to kind of help bind it, it'll give it some flavor. Um, of course with the seasoning you can use the salt, pepper, um, garlic salt, pepper, any kind of that, uh, but this is what we've used today. And we're going to go ahead and put these on the grill. And what, One thing I want to cover real quick is make sure that you, you always oil your grill. I mean you, there's a couple different ways. You can use a, a cooking spray uh, or there's some fancy uh, grill wipes out there. You can take some, some uh, tongs and just kind of run those grill wipes over, but it's a good idea to oil your grill before you get started. We're going to go ahead and place these on here. Now, depending on how you want them cooked, we're going we're to cook them about four to six minutes aside. We've taken these about six minutes, and uh, we're going to go ahead and flip them over. Okay, obviously we're getting a little few flare-ups here. Just move this one out of the way. And we're probably going to go probably about another another six to seven minutes. Okay, what we're doing real quick is we're going to go ahead and we're checking the temperature of these. Now some of them still have a little while to go. And we got one that's definitely done here. First, depending on how you like them, well, we're going to take these somewhere around 145. This should be a medium well, which technically is what we should be cooking burgers to, but of course you can cook them to uh, whatever uh, doneness you'd like. But they're, depending on the size of the burger, the cool spots on the grill, uh, they're not all going to be done at the same time. right when they come out you can put some cheese on top of them I wouldn't recommend putting cheese on them on the grill it'll melt all over your grill okay we've got this about right where we want it and we're gonna go ahead and grab this last burger off here we're gonna let these rest a few minutes Go ahead and uh, 
while the grill is still hot, go ahead and uh, scrape some of this off here. Okay, all our burgers are off. Um, just to go over real quick how we made these. We just took some hamburger, we mixed in some, uh, some chopped onions. Uh, we also mixed in some of the garlic lover steak seasoning. And then we mixed in some homebarbecue.com barbecue sauce. Uh, we let those marinate for a period of time, and then we've uh, come out and cooked them on the grill. Now we've cooked them to about 145 degree, which is a, a medium well temperature. There we go.